12th and final row, driving the number 32 car, that is Justin Rignerus, and outside of him, the 81 exit is Mark Vanentop. 20 laps to distance, your Precision Auto Body USRA Stuck Car Shootout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Seba's McGraphics awarding a tire to tonight's hard charger, as long as the hard charger is not the winner. A pack of tear-offs going to our hard luck award winner. They're our feature class at the Rapid Speedway. You're about to find out why the stock car special is under green. Early on, we're going three wide for the race lead, and on the top side, Jimmy Larson in the 6L off to the early race lead. Tommy Croc in second position with Elijah Siebenbergen making his way down low. EZ slides up into that second spot in front of Croc and sets his sights on the 6L of Jimmy Larson. Olivier Callis going around at the back of the pack. And the caution will fly. First caution of the night coming out as Olabir and Callis get together and go around. Tommy Croc, a rookie here in the stock car division, looking for his first ever stock car win. Jim Larson, the crafty veteran. Everybody knows Elijah Zevenbergen for Dorn as well. The USRA stock car special, the A feature back under green, and here we go again. Jimmy Larson with the second burst, the same as the first. Larson will take the lead in the black 6L machine. Jimmy Larson out front. Elijah Ziebenbergen is second. Ziebenbergen drifts up the track. Roger Verdorn looking for that second spot. Josh Kelderman off the track in turn number four. Chaos resumes throughout the field. Larson, Ziebenbergen, one and two. Roger Bedorn into third spot. Colby Clawson in fourth. Scott Overgaard coming in the 40. And just outside of him, Tommy Crock in the 15. Colton Aarons and Darren Cordos looking to make their way into the top five as well. A whole host of cars battling it out from fifth on back for our stock car special tonight. Tommy Crock is off the track. Off the top of turn two, the 15X of Tommy Crock off the track. We'll see if he can rejoin on the back stretch. It looks like he's going to come to a stop. And he will bring out the caution flag. Elijah Siebenbergen a little lost at the top of one and two, but I believe that was after the caution came out. Tommy Crock bringing the caution out after he went off of the top of turn number two and took his time getting back on the track. Well, that might be a great break for Elijah Ziebenbergen as he got into the back of Jim Larson going into turn one, was off the pace, but the caution had come out, and Tommy Crock will make his way to the Lyon County Chiropractic Adjustment Area. Elijah Ziebenbergen now on the point in the 66Z machine. Jimmy Larson, Roger Verdorn, Colby Clawson, and Scott Overgaard, your top five as we go back. Green flag racing, stock car A feature. Elijah Ziebenbergen will rock it out to the lead from the point. Jimmy Larson into that second spot. Roger to Verdorn in third. Scott Overgaard fourth and Colby Clawson as Ziebenbergen slips up the track and here comes Jimmy Larson. Larson and Ziebenbergen side by side for the race team. Jimmy Larson and Elijah Ziebenbergen side by side racing for the lead and it's EZ off the exit of two and down the back stretch. Larson looking on the low side in that black 6L. EZ in the 66. They're side by side once again for the race lead and it's still Elijah Ziebenbergen. Ziebenbergen and Larson running one and two. Roger Redor running in third position. Scott Overgaard fourth and Colby Clawson your top five with Chad Overgaard. 
Knocking on the door from sixth spot. Darren Cordell's looking to get on the low side underneath Chad Obergaard. John DeVore's looking to get on the Stephen Bergen and Larson running one and two. Verdorn in third spot. Scott Overgaard in the fourth position. Colby Clawson from the fifth spot looking to move up to fourth. And he is inside of Scott Overgaard. Colby Clawson makes his way up to the fourth position. Colby Clawson up to the fourth spot. Steven Bergen, Larson running one and two. Verdorn in third. Colby Clawson fourth. Scott Overgaard fifth. Chad Overgaard running in sixth spot. John DeBoer seventh. Travis Van at top. Colton Aarons and Darren Cornell running eighth and ninth. And Spencer Callis rounds out here top ten presently. Elijah Steven Bergen checking out from the rest of the pack. The 6L of Jimmy Larson running in second spot. Roger Verdorn and Colby Clausen presently battling it out for third position. As Clausen got that third spot, Verdorn looking to come back and grab it right back, but Clausen is there. Colby Clausen in the third position. Roger Verdorn fourth. Overguard and Overguard battling it out for a top five. Scott Overguard at fifth. Chad Overguard running sixth. John DeBoer. In that seventh spot, he's looking to get in the mix as well. Travis Vandentop, Darren Cordles, and Spencer Callis, your top ten on the field. Mark Vandentop retires from the game feature as he calls it quits early and pulls in pit side. Elijah Ziebenbergen, your race leader, off the exit of turn three into four and off of four, halfway this time by 66 of Elijah Ziebenbergen, followed by the 6L of Jim Larson, the 34K of Colby Lawson, the 04 of Roger Thorn, and the 40 of Scott Overgaard, your top five on the field. USRA Stock Car Special here tonight. The Stock Car is presented by Precision Auto Body. And the Stock Car Special, also a Summit Shootout qualifier here tonight. Tonight's A feature winner will qualify for the Summit Shootout at the end of the year at the USRA Nationals. Elijah Ziebenbergen making his way into lap traffic to the inside of Mark Sano. And Ziebenbergen will settle in behind the 51 for the time being. Steven Bergen down low to the inside of Sano. And one car left down. Jimmy Larson in the 6L off the exit of two in second spot. Colby Clawson, Roger Verdor, Scott Overgaard, your top five. John DeBoer in six. Chad Overgaard, Travis Van the top and Portals. It's a train around the top here tonight. The USRA Stock Car Special. Presented by Precision Auto Body at the Rapid Speedway. Rams Auto Recyclers and Vans Implement bringing you all the racing action here tonight at the Rapid Speedway. EZ, Elijah Siebenbergen doing damage to the field here tonight. He is your race leader with two cars a lap down. Looking to put Austin Brands a lap down and turn three. EZ will do so. Siebenbergen to the inside of Austin Brands putting Brands a lap down. Elijah Siebenbergen in the 66Z, your race leader. Jimmy Larson running in second spot, just getting into lap traffic. Colby Clawson, Roger Bernard, and Scott Overgaard, your top five. USRA Stock Car 8 feature here tonight in the Stock Car Special. $1,150 awarded to the winner. And as of right now, if it were to end right now, it would be easy by a mile. Elijah Siebenbergen with three lap cars. Cars a lap down and two lap cars between him and his closest competition. Second spot, 6L of Jimmy Larson. Larson works to the inside of Al Lang. Colby Clawson running in third spot. Roger Verdorn and Scott Overgaard still here top five. Chad Overgaard in six. John DeBoer seventh. Travis Van the top eight. Darren Portals ninth. And Spencer Callis, your top ten on the field. Problem. 16J of John DeBoer as DeBoer slows on the back stretch and pulls off the track. Looks like Mark Sano is leaving and John DeBoer is going to follow. Tough break for John DeBoer as he was running inside the top 10. White flag is out for your race leader of Austin Siebenbergen. Siebenbergen in the midst of lap traffic on the back stretch. 
the middle of turns three and four into turn four and off of four, your A feature winner, the stock car special champion, the 66Z of Elijah Siebenbergen. Easy does it tonight, Elijah Siebenbergen bringing it home tonight down to Pizza Ranch Victory Lane. Jimmy Larson with a nice run in the 6L coming home in second spot. Colby Clawson finishing third in the 34K. Scott Overgaard and Chad Overgaard, your top five on the field at tonight's USRA Stock Car Special. The Stock Car A features Summit Shootout Qualifier as well tonight. All right, Jay Kelly, we're down here in Pizza Ranch Victory Lane, and Elijah, we've missed you around here. Yeah, it's been a while. been probably about a year or maybe even a year and a half. Well, we're glad to see you back here. We always appreciate seeing this 66 car out here, and uh, it was just like you never left because you came out here and you were dominant. You know, the car was just great. Sniper Speed gives us a great chassis, and we got great sponsors backing us and great fans. Appreciate seeing everybody out there, and everything just came together tonight. Well, early on in that restart, uh, you crossed the line. We're given the lead after lap two as you had edged Larson. How much of an advantage was that getting to go out front on that restart? I mean, obviously starting up front's an advantage, but I think we had the car to do it regardless. The car, the car was phenomenal. Well, you're able to work the high side and the bottom side as you work through traffic, and uh, once again, your car was amazing. Yeah, I mean, it went high, went low. We just where we, where, went where we had to go to get the job done. Well, it was great to see you once again, and congratulations. Welcome back to Rapid Speedway. Thank you. Elijah Siebenbergen, your stock car winner. All right, Kelly, we're down here with our third-place finisher, Colby Clawson. Colby. It's been a kind of a rough year so far this year, but uh, none better than getting a good run on this stock car special. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, we had to switch to this other car because that other one was just driving me nuts. It was it was quick when it was quick, but the gremlins that thing had was just nuts. And I don't know, this, this thing's kind of my baby. I'll probably never get rid of it. <laughs> Well, you had a great run. You're up in the front. There are a lot of good cars in front of you, behind you, but you were consistent enough to put together a solid run. Yeah, uh, this motor has got about 70 nights on it. <laughs> I can't believe it held up through that. Uh, yeah, you know, Zevenberg was gone, and I was maybe catching Larson, but, man, they were, he got so strung out and so heavy, but, I mean, that kind of went away there at the end. You had to be real careful on the cushion, and, Car was tight in three and four, but overall it was a good night. Uh, I got to thank Cooney's race engines mostly for building the motor that'll last that long. Uh, Skinny Construction, great sponsor. Uh, Integrity Egg, uh, Growing Egg, uh, Octane Inc. for the wraps. Uh, Kent's, Kent's Grain, uh, Anderson Race Shocks builds pretty darn good shocks. We found something that actually fits me. So, uh. well, congratulations on a good run. Yeah, thank you. All right, Jay Kelly, we're making our way over here to tonight's runner-up, Jim Larson, the old man here in second place here tonight. Jim, uh, we don't see you very often, but uh, we know that with your experience, you know your way around racetracks, and uh, you were pretty good tonight. Well, I don't know about that. It's just luck of the draw. I got to start at a good spot. So. Well, you started up front there. You had a great battle early on with Elijah and then able to uh, hang on for that second place. Yep, I, it was a good race. Well, it's good to see you here, and uh, we'd love to see you come back a few more times maybe. Well, we'll see what the farming does. Absolutely. Congratulations, Jim Larson.